Immortality Starts with Generosity, a cultivation progression fantasy by Plutus, is a fascinating tale set in a world where martial artists strive for immortality through the cultivation of qi, the vital life force. The protagonist, Bai Shen, embarks on a unique path towards enlightenment and immortality, guided by the principle that generosity and benevolence are the keys to unlocking the highest levels of power. Bai Shen is a young man from a humble background, orphaned at a young age and taken in by the compassionate elders of the Azure Lotus Temple. There, he learns that the temple was founded on the principle that true strength comes from the heart's purity and the willingness to help others selflessly. The temple's cultivation techniques are centered around compassion and charity, and Bai Shen quickly embraces these values. As Bai Shen matures, his innate talent for cultivation becomes clear. His generous spirit and frequent acts of kindness not only benefit those around him, but also catalyze his own cultivation progress. People begin to talk about the mysterious, benevolent blade, a cultivator who appears whenever someone is in need, vanquishing bandits and helping the downtrodden before disappearing without a trace. Bai Shen encounters a wide range of characters on his journey, including fellow cultivators, celestial beings, and even demons. Each interaction teaches him valuable lessons and reinforces the idea that one's intentions are as critical as one's actions. He forms deep bonds with some of the people he meets, such as Ling, a skilled healer with a traumatic past, and Jia, a rogue cultivator with a heart of gold hidden behind a brash exterior. The story progresses as Bai Shen faces various challenges and adversaries who question his philosophy. Traditional cultivators ridicule his methods, seeing generosity as a weakness that squanders qi for no gain. They believe in hoarding their power, seeking strength through seclusion and aggressive acquisition of resources. Bai Shen's approach, however, begins to change the hearts and minds of many as they witness the tangible and intangible benefits his generosity brings. Bai Shen's cultivation is not limited to the physical realm. He frequently journeys into the spiritual plane, a mysterious and dangerous dimension where cultivators can commune with spirits, seek ancient knowledge, and face trials designed to test their resolve and integrity. His selflessness shines even brighter in these trials, as he repeatedly risks his own advancement to aid the spirits he encounters. One of the most significant moments in Bai Shen's cultivation journey occurs during a chance encounter with an ancient immortal, a revered figure thought to have transcended the mortal realm eons ago. The immortal is moved by Bai Shen's purity of heart and decides to impart a fragment of transcendent wisdom, a cultivation technique that had been lost to the ages. This technique allows Bai Shen to channel the positive energy generated by his acts of generosity to bolster his cultivation. As Bai Shen grows stronger, his actions attract the attention of powerful entities, both good and evil. He faces off against sect leaders, corrupted officials, and demonic cultivators, all while navigating complex political and social landscapes. Bai Shen maintains his compassionate demeanor, always attempting to find peaceful resolutions, but never hesitating to draw his sword when necessary to protect the innocent. A defining conflict arises when a corrupt sect leader obtains a forbidden artifact capable of consuming the souls of others to gain power. Bai Shen rallies his allies and even his former adversaries to confront this threat. Through a combination of strategy, teamwork, and his unique cultivation technique, Bai Shen leads a successful campaign to destroy the artifact and defeat the sect leader, solidifying his reputation as a hero and a true cultivator of the generous path. With the immediate threat subdued, Bai Shen reflects on his progress and realizes that his journey is far from over. His acts of generosity have created a network of goodwill that spans the continent. He envisions a future where cultivators work alongside common folk, sharing their strength and fostering a world where generosity and kindness reign. Bai Shen's cultivation reaches a critical juncture when he discovers that to achieve immortality, he must embrace the virtue of endless giving. This final virtue goes beyond mere actions. It requires him to let go of his personal desires and merge his will with the universe's flow, becoming a conduit for endless generosity. The climax of the story sees Bai Shen preparing for the ultimate trial, the Ascendant Rite, which will either elevate him to immortality or consume him utterly. 
As Bai Shen enters the right, the collective goodwill and positive energy he has cultivated over his lifetime coalesce around him. His spirit transcends, and he becomes one with the essence of generosity, achieving an enlightened state that few have ever reached. Bai Shen's transformation has profound implications for the world. As an enlightened immortal, his very presence inspires positive change. The benevolent energy emanating from him accelerates the cultivation of those around him and heals the scars left by centuries of conflict and greed. In the aftermath of Bai Shen's ascension, the Azure Lotus Temple becomes a pilgrimage site for cultivators seeking enlightenment through generosity. Bai Shen's closest friends and allies continue to spread his teachings, ensuring that his legacy endures. Sects that once hoarded power begin opening their gates, sharing their knowledge and resources for the greater good. As the story concludes, Bai Shen, now an immortal, watches over the world from the spiritual plane. He no longer intervenes directly, but provides subtle guidance, ensuring that the spirit of generosity continues to flourish. It is understood that immortality was not his ultimate goal, but rather a natural consequence of a life lived selflessly, with an open heart. Through Bai Shen's journey, immortality starts with generosity, imparts a message of hope and virtue, showing that true strength is found not in the accumulation of power, but in the willingness to share it with others. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.